Hello everybody, with the way oil prices have been going and just everything else that's going on, the Exxon stock has really been getting hit hard, so in this video I wanted to cover Exxon stock and really give my own opinion on it. So first things first, if we take a look at Exxon stock, they're uh, currently trading at about $43.50, and they went as low as 30.11 about a month ago, which is pretty insane, uh, because if you look uh, just at the, at the beginning of the year, they were steadily trading around $70. So if you were able to pick that up around $30, that is a really strong buy in my opinion, but it still could currently be a buy, uh, especially compared to uh, some of its main competitors. One of the things that Exxon prides itself on is increasing revenues compared to just in, uh, cash flows for dividends. And with that, you would expect to see an increasing, uh, steadily increasing stock price. And that's actually not what we've seen if we look at the last five years here. Uh, it was trading up around $90 uh, five years ago. And as I said, they were trading steadily around $70 at the beginning of this year. So that's not a great indicator for Exxon long term. And then the only thing I really wanted to comment on here is the dividend of 348, which is 8.26% uh, uh, returning dividend, which I think is actually a really strong and relatively reliable dividend, not necessarily right now, but moving forward. And um, in the next couple of weeks, I am actually expecting the Exxon stock price to decrease. So this could be as much as a 9, 10, or even 11% dividend uh, for a massive company like Exxon. It is also worth mentioning what is probably Exxon's biggest competitor, which is Chevron Corporation, ticker symbol CVX, if you want to check it out. So just to go through a few of the metrics, uh, Chevron was hit even harder. They were trading steadily around $115 and then went as low as $51.60, uh, which means they less than halved, which Exxon did not. Uh, Chevron has a dividend of about 6% right now, whereas Exxon has over 8%. Exxon has much higher revenues, um, but Chevron is increasing revenues much more steadily than uh, Exxon is. Now I wanted to just quickly go over a couple of bear points by an analyst at Morningstar. The first one is that Exxon is separating itself from its peers by increasing investment with the goal of doubling earnings um, and cash flow by 2025. With such a high dividend, if they were actually able to double their earnings, that would be pretty exceptional. Um, but I think I pretty much everyone has their doubts on that. But even if they could just increase their earnings by 40, 50, or 60% would really be great. Their stock price should see a really solid jump. And then the second point is saying that Exxon has a high level of integration. Um, compared to their competitors, uh, vertical integration, which is meaning that they're doing a lot of the uh, refining um, and they own the chemical facilities. They're not just owning uh, the assets like their main competitors do. They're taking that oil out of the ground and then taking that through all of the steps all the way through bringing it to the customer. And then I also wanted to cover a couple of bear points given by an analyst at Morningstar. And the first one says that returns are unlikely to ever reach historical levels uh, without higher commodity prices. Oil is a commodity, and if you're unfamiliar with it, um, this is crude oil futures, uh, June futures, which are really looking pretty terrible right now. Um, the future prices of oil, um, speculation on that is just really grim for the outlook of that uh, moving forward, which will have a negative effect on Exxon as well as um, all of their competitors. And then just as the last point is that dividend growth will likely remain slow in the near term, which I mean is totally fine. Um, the dividend is really, really high right now. So as long as that dividend doesn't halt for any reason, and they do maintain that um, eight or 9% dividend, that's gonna be really solid. There is a lot of talk about big energy companies being in a ton of trouble out there right now and possibly even needing to file bankruptcy at some point. Um, there may be differing opinions on this, but Exxon and the other energy company, uh, Chevron, that I mentioned are really not in a ton of risk uh, for filing bankruptcy. With Exxon and Chevron being two of the biggest in the industry and having decent balance sheets, uh, in my opinion, they're not in any major trouble. Let me know down in the comments if there's any other energy stocks you would like me to cover. Uh, subscribe for more content. Come check out my channel for more videos. And thank you so much for watching.